Hey boys and girls. <laughs> start off with that slap stuff, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Peter Knox. Who are you? I'm Fraser. Uh, Fraser, you got a surname there? Murder Burger? Yeah, we'll go for that. Fraser Murder Burger. Got a middle name? Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for that. And how are you? I'm alright, yeah. Tired. Tired. Spent two days in bed, sick. Because of drinking drugs and rock and roll excesses? No, I've been drinking for like two months. Two months? Yeah, it's probably the longest in about 13 years. <laughs> probably. Is that deliberate health? Um, I just kind of get, yeah, I get bored of it too. Bored of hangover. Yeah. Well, bored all over, did you say? Bored of hangover. Oh. Yeah. Bored all over. Mm. But yeah, no, I've just uh, not been sleeping much doing all that stuff. Have you set yourself a, t- uh, a limit for drinking? Will you get back to it? Is that it? Um, that ain't gone now. It's a thing of the past. You and alcohol. <laughs> gone your separate ways. Nah, probably not. But cutting down is not a bad thing, right? I also find it's much easier to count money at the end of gigs and keep track of money on tour when you're not shit faced. Mm. So it's kind of that. So, you're going on tour in a few days. Yeah. Where are you going? Japan. That's pretty good. Japan. The big J. Is that the furthest away you've ever been? Apart from Australia. Never been to Australia. America. America, yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah, we've been talking to the same guy for like four years. Um, guy called Kazu from Waterside Records. Um, we've been... Yeah, for like, I guess it's like four years now I've been talking to him about going to tour there and it's just never really come together. Mm-hmm. But with a new album and stuff and yeah, it's just going to fall into place. So yeah, we leave on we, we leave on Sunday to go down to fly out from London on Monday. A good 19 hour trip. You guys are going to be really popular in Japan. <laughs> you think? <laughs> is, that, is that your prediction? I think so. Alright. I think this is the start. I'm going to be really disappointed if that doesn't happen now. Well, don't worry about it because it is going to happen. No. <laughs> so you 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 are pretty much the Murder Burgers are a band mm-hmm. that you and the singer in yes. play the guitar, and yeah, yeah. you get other people to play the drums and bass. Yes. Who? Uh, it's kind of like the, whoever you can get these days, isn't it? You've not got a fixed set. Yeah. Or, or, or do you? At the moment, um. I just did a tour, I just did Canada and America with both the different lineups. And then I've got Muzz and Russell from That's Where I Was Dead from Dundee. It turns out Russell plays drums, I kept that one pretty quiet for years. Right. Um, and Muzz is playing bass. So that's working out pretty well. And they're going to Japan. Yeah, they're doing, that. They're doing all the UK and European stuff after as well, and we're just kind of taking it from there. So Japan, UK. Europe. Yeah, it's Japan next week and then we'll go straight into doing UK dates spread out from October, November, December and then we're doing Europe in January, February. We're doing all that. Right. Until they realise it's a terrible idea and hate me and quit. So is not drinking part of a survival strategy to get through all this? I think so. Have you got any other strategies, tips, techniques? Just try not to die. Try right? not to die. Mm. Um, what about um, for staying sane? Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just try not to stress out too much. Just go with that. Um, do you ever get homesick for any of doing all this stuff or not really? Not really. Oh, well, sometimes. I, I find the more that I do it, the more I do it, the less I feel like. I'm homesick because I'm like I'm usually just sleeping on couches and stuff. Yeah, I never had anymore. anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get homesick when you don't live at home. Uh-huh. Um, but then you can't. Then you realise you're away for so long. You're like, oh, this person's moved away. Yeah. Like, oh, Do you ever sucks. feel you're missing out on home time? Yeah, every now and then. Mm-hmm. But um, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not really. But uh, yeah. Not really. So I'll, yeah, I've, I've got a place to stay now though, so we'll see how this pans out. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. You're still good to go because for pleasure because that's still works well. Yeah. Yeah. I just mean if you're playing in loads of gigs. Well, you're like, oh, I'll go to that. Yeah, I still go to quite a lot. Yeah. All my heels are fucked. Mm. Um, Has he seen any good recently? Have you got any top tips? So, uh, Kamikaze Girls and Tim Loud. I like the sound of both of them. Yeah, they're really good. So saw Martha recently, they were great. Are they all um, Scottish? No, it's Tim, they're, they're all English. Right. Um, but they come to Scotland. They come up, yeah. Yeah. Road trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on tour. Yeah. That's fair. Tour trip. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else good that I've seen recently. Probably. Yeah. Let's just say yes and yeah. move on. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, How's the tea, by the way? It's really nice. I wish I'd take a note of what it is. Um, we have been not done this one either. Right We're here in Granton. Yes. In the depot. The depot studio, isn't it? Rehearsal studio, which is run by a very nice man called John. John. And he offered me a cup of tea or coffee. But I thought it was a bit late. It's, it's quarter past twelve at night. Uh, so he's given me this herbal concoction. And it's really nice. I, I what is it? What, what do you get when you taste it? Like, what, what would you get when you smell it? Give me like a rundown. I get light floral notes and then it's got a woodier kind of backstory. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, just takes you to a nice, very relaxed thing. Alright. But it's kind of energising as well. It's giving me clarity, I think. So, <laughs> so 12 Habits of Highly Defective People. Yes. That's the name of the album. Yes. Is there 12 songs on it? Yes. And is each song represented by a habit? No. It's kind of like a concept album, almost, isn't it? How, almost. How closely to a concept album is it? Um, well, it's all tied in with each other, but it's not like, it's not step by step. No, just yeah. the highlights. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just the good ones. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. the greatest sense of a personality disorder. Something. There we go. I got the title from there's a book that I think it's a book. It's a book. <laughs> I, it's a book that my uh, it's like my dad's Bible, I think. Um called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yeah. Um and I thought he's a successful guy. Mm. He's got shit together upstairs. Yeah. I thought kind of the opposite of that. That would probably work pretty good as a title. You're effective in the seven fields. Um, yeah. And defective. It's just, <laughs> it's not <laughs> the best field to be in. So, uh, when you're starting to do an album, uh, is it just, do you just think, well, I've got enough songs now, that's it, or do you have more of a kind of uh, focus? Um, like, have you got a feel and a sound in mind? Do you think I want to do more of a reaction against another one? Because each one's kind of, they're all similar, aren't they? Yeah. They're all their own kind of thing. So how premeditated is that? Back in the day, it was just get enough songs and call an album. Mm. It went very good. So it wasn't much thought. I disagree. I like those things. But all right. But yeah. Now, the last couple though, it's been like time. not really had any songs left over because it's like, yeah, this is the album. Kind of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was gonna be twelve songs. That was kind of. Right. Uh, I thought if I write another one, it's just probably gonna suck and not really fit in. So, yeah. So do you think to make the wall want this one to be a bit more, you know, less even a bit slower, or a bit more. Like, do you have an overall kind of difference of how you want it to be? Um, it's better probably. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Now, with a new one, there was more time to do stuff when I was recording, so it was like, there's more, or the guitar parts are better, and there was just, yeah, and, but musically I spent a lot more time kind of thinking about that, because it was, I was kind of getting sick of just playing bar, like cover chords all the yeah. time, you know. Like I'm using all six shit. strings now, look at that. Right. 
is it here? And then a little of hope that's about how you write the, write the lyrics. Because uh, my take on the lyrics, um, they're so bleak <laughs> yeah. that they become hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm glad you get that. A lot of people just seem really worried. But I see the funny side of it. Yeah. I see the I see the positive and the hopeful side and the funny side of it and a lot of people just think it's still like, you all right? Well, I can understand why they... Yeah, I get, I get, I get the concern. <laughs> was it my dad? My dad was like, sounds like you must have to get yourself in a really dark place to really start singing. I was like, oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You can laugh about it afterwards. You can. Yeah, you know. Can't laugh, you cry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I do, like, listen to your lyrics, and I'm sometimes laughing out loud at just the despair and the tragedy <laughs> and how terrible everything is. And also, because I know you, um, I know that it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone said to me recently, if you just name a bad thing that's happened, it's probably happened to me. Yeah. It's probably true. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, you, I think that's I see the funny side of it all. I'm glad someone else does it, finally. <laughs> so almost, almost 10 years down the line and someone else sees it. So uh, do you think there's hope? Do you feel positive about, not just you, about the world as a whole? God, that's a, do you think that's that, a deep one. Do you think that love can save the world? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. Yeah. You're asking the wrong guy. I think things will be alright. That's probably the most optimistic <laughs> thing you're ever going to get out of me. I think <laughs> things are going to be okay. I mean, there's a lot of bad things happening, but the overall curve of humanity, we are maybe getting somewhere. Nah, it's going down, I think. Yeah, well, maybe the curve is starting to go down every week, you know, I don't know, mid-80s or something, we didn't know. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, mid-80s, I was like... I will not born and die young. So, so if we up. extrapolate from that, like the world sort of started to go downhill pretty much when you were born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. Right. Um, I don't know if that means I'm the cause or if it was just bad timing for me. What do you think? I think... Um, <laughs> I think everything's going to be alright and you're wrong uh, about, <laughs> I think it's a bad theory. Okay. And uh, yeah, things are getting better. Yeah. Pretty much. Things will be okay. And um, do you like your toes cut in triangles or rectangles? Recently I've been a rectangle guy and I don't, I don't like where I've become. Yeah. I think I like them. I think people might be judgy and think that you're being a little bit juvenile. Do you think? I think so, but I like to go diagonal, triangle. You know, it's sometimes I even cut it. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Those are the bad days. <laughs> ah, sometimes I just feel like I don't want to cut it. <laughs> What's the point in cutting it? Yeah, I'm just gonna eat it. Sometimes I fold it. separation from all the yeah. people I'm going to Japan that's it look inside the toaster yeah okay I think this has gone far enough you sure you don't want to carry on yeah <laughs> maybe when you we will catch up when you get back yeah thanks very much Fraser oh thank you Pete it's business with handshake yeah bomb and look them in the eye my dad told me. One of them was Omicron. Mean, like, yeah, how did they do? just do wee mini squeeze on the way out. Oh, like that. I'm not sure I like that. Let me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.